Now, what if your electric bill went up, but you got nothing extra for it? Tim Miller explains what could happen and who's trying to stop it. $300 million a year, $5.4 billion over 16 years. That's how much you and your fellow electric customers could pay if First Energy gets what they're asking for. They're coming back for more. Enough's enough. Local leaders today demanded state lawmakers vote against House Bill 178. It would allow First Energy, which operates the Davis Bessie and Perry nuclear plants, to raise your rates. The legislature is picking winners and picking losers uh, in the energy production game. A zero competition bill that benefits one uh, organization over another is not the right thing for Northwest Ohio. There's also concern the rate hike would hurt alternative energy investments, like a second Oregon clean energy plant. If you're going to make the lowest price power, but your competition is allowed to charge in a higher rate and people are required to buy it at that rate, it's not much sense of going into business. But First Energy says there has been a drop in energy usage since the recession in 2008, and 1,400 plant jobs and thousands more support jobs are on the line. A spokesperson said the money that comes from this will ensure the plants will continue to operate. Keeping the plants operating will ensure all the benefits that come with nuclear are maintained for the state. So what could happen if this increase does not go through? That First Energy spokesperson told me they could close or even sell off the two nuclear plants. In North Toledo, Tim Miller, WTOL 11.